and we're live in five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, Jordan Nelson here, host of Real Estate Pros on Lister Pros TV. Today we're at Guild Mortgage in Tucson, Arizona with Barbara Wilson, the uh, 2019 president of Tucson Association of Realtors, right. and also associate broker at Long Realty. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day and joining me on Real Estate Pros. Yeah, thank you for having me. So today, topic of discussion, we're gonna be going over market updates here in the Tucson area. Seems like there's a lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. uh, real estate market wise but also from a higher level because you know you're over you know the Tucson Association of Realtors so just want to get uh, kind of an update about what's going on in 2019 uh, association wise or market wise so we can talk about the association right so I guess we'll, we'll actually we'll give you a moment because there might be people that don't know who you are just to introduce yourself uh, give a little bit of your background in, okay. in real estate well, I'm Barbara Wilson. I'm with Long Realty Foothills. I have been a realtor for 16 years and prior to that a paralegal for 22 years and the latest in uh, real estate law. So the transition was very easy for yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So talk to us, uh, I guess first the update for uh, Tucson Association of Realtors. So we have a few changes this year. We're really focusing on relevance, education, and value for our members and to enhance our consumer experience with our Realtors. Um, we are bringing on four national business building speakers. We had Jeff Turner, who is a national and global speaker on artificial intelligence. Uh, we'll have Joseph Rand, who is also a Realtor and an author speaking on disruption. Jamie Cassip, he's from Google, and he'll speak to us on the future of business industry. And then we'll have one more um, towards the end of the year. So stay tuned for that. So these are individual events, uh, just having them in and just, so are they gonna be events put on at the Tucson, at the office, or are there different venues? Uh, there'll places? be different venues. Uh, okay. The one we had with Jeff Turner was at our economic forecast at the Loft Theater. Awesome. So we had over 300 members come join us for that one. Yeah, that's awesome. That's some great speakers uh, that you guys have lined up for this year. Mm -hmm. And then we're also enhancing the quality of our Realtors by ramping up our professional development. We've had uh, 22 classes to enhance our um, professional development of our members and we had over 1,500 members attend in the first quarter alone. So they're really taking advantage of that. So is this like in-person training and standards Kind of obviously the the goal is to increase professionalism what are those things that you're seeing out there that you guys are working on to improving in regards to professionalism right just the the knowledge of our of our industry the knowledge of working with buyers sellers marketing i mean just general everything code of ethics uh, that we live by and that's pretty much the biggest focus there. Awesome, so there's professionalism, there's a couple other focuses as well. Right, and we also have Emerging Trends, that's a new committee that we formed this year, and they are looking at what's going on in our industry. The three biggest topics right now is professionalism, MLS relevance, and iBuyers. So talk to us a little bit more about MLS relevance. Relevance, so it's all, I mean, everything is geared towards data. So the relevance part of it is what the MLS does for us versus what any of the other syndicators, you know, right. get, but they're getting the information from us. So we're just dealing with the different versions of that so that our consumers know the relevance of our, of our data. Right. So <clears throat> what's your perspective on that? Like, because, you know... Zillow gets syndicated. I think they're syndicated from the from, ML, from MLS. Us. Right. So a lot, oftentimes the data isn't up to date or real time. So is the MLS you see as the the best feed for the consumer to be able to? Yes. Because I'm sure there's been experiences, and that kind of goes into professionalism, where somebody, oh, I want to go see this buyer. It shows, it shows active, but it's really already under contract. Mm -hmm. uh, things like that. So talk talk to us a little bit about um, iBuyer. 
Uh, the iBuyers are new, uh, new companies that are coming in and it's just another format, um, another business model and avenues for uh, sellers. So it just needs to educate our membership on what an iBuyer is and the best way um, to promote that for their business. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, what are some of those things that agents should know about iBuyers? What is an iBuyer exactly? I know you mentioned some addition, additional options, but how do you see uh, agents leveraging iBuyers to enhance their business? Well, we don't, we don't have them in Tucson just yet. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's all the information that we're going to gather through the Emerging Trends Committee and then we'll release that to our membership so that we, they know the best way to deal with it. But they're them. coming, right? They're coming. No. <laughs> and it's just change, change is good. You just got to adapt with the change. Don't be fearful of it. So let's talk a little bit about uh, Capital Improvements tax, tax, Task Force. Is that something uh, like on a TR? TR? T-A-R level? Uh, yes, so what we've done is our building's getting older and it's not optimized for current usage. So we really want to look at it in a way that is going to add value so our members want to want to come there and enjoy the experience as well as our consumer. And we want to put in like a member lounge so they mm -hmm. can come and plug in and meet clients, have a coffee bar. So basically modernize the facility. So it's the facility. so agents will come in. They can bring. Are you? Would it be like can, where other they could bring their clients to? Correct. Type of environment. So we'll, we'll have meeting rooms. We'll places they can come and plug in and do some work. Meet clients. Safe place to come. Awesome. Yeah, and then uh, Tucson Association of Realtors will be a hundred years old in 2021. So we're hoping that with this that we can get everything uh, through through the board and finish so we can unveil the new building in 2021 for our 100th anniversary. So uh, is it uh, remodeling the existing building or right. is there? Right, because there's so much wasted space. So uh -huh. we want to optimize all Oh, I've been in there before. The there's a huge room. So, so yeah. we're going to optimize that. We're going to optimize the whole infrastructure, the parking lot, everything. Oh, wow. So it's. It'll be great. So it's going to be a pretty big project then. Mm -hmm. uh, so is it looking to be finished in 2021 for the 100th that's what anniversary? We're hoping that's what we That's uh, awesome. And then we have our member engagement and housing opportunities committees. So, and they are looking at ways to enhance the consumer perception as well of our profession by supporting things that affect home sales, such as schools, parks, police, and fire. Awesome. Um, so what, let's talk about this soccer shoot at, shootout as well. Um, that's a huge event for our community. So each year it's been bigger and bigger and this year we had 350 teams and quite a few of those were international. So we're not only getting, um, the U.S., we're getting international. So it's a fun and profitable event for our community every year. So this is put on by the... the Tucson Association of Realtors is the, the top sponsor of wow. this. Because we see it as, you know, viability for So the community. trend I'm seeing here is better, you know, being more engaged in, in what's going on out there. You know, having different committees to make sure that, you know, you're staying top of, you, you're staying, you're staying educated on what's coming. Um, I buyer staying out there, you know, these, these community task forces, is that what that is? Mm -hmm. The housing opportunities. So, so you did have the uh, the economic forecast. I guess give give us a little bit of a recap of the economic forecast. So the economic forecast, we had over three hundred people join us at the Loft Theater, and so we have uh, an economist come and speak of what's going on in this past year and what to look at for the future. Our Arizona State President D. Patrick Lewis came and spoke to us of what's going on in the state. And then we had um, our national speaker, Jeff Turner, speaking on artificial intelligence. So it, it's all about educating our members so, so that they can pass it on to the consumer. Sure. So what, what was the learning that around uh, AI, was there anything shared specifically that 
He's like, <laughs> robot realtors coming 2030? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. No, I mean, the biggest thing is that there's nothing that can replace the human mm -hmm. touch. I mean, you need that human connection. Sure. You can't do everything just by right. technology. Or is it just access to data faster, easier uh, to do analysis on certain things? When it comes to data, but the human interaction is obviously... Mm -hmm. That can never be replaced. Sure. Awesome. So talk to us a little bit about the 32 major investors. So we have uh, the National Realtor Political Action Committee. And we have our state, which is the Realtors of Arizona Political Action Committee. And what we do is fight for um, home property rights. Mm. And we just, our biggest push that we just won was eliminating the sales tax that they were trying to do on um, right. professions. So it's not only the realtor profession, but you go get a haircut, you go, you know, get your nails done. There's a service tax that would have been put onto these people. So we are protecting our consumers as well as. So that did not pass. That did not pass. And we have, but in Tucson, we have three federal political coordinators. So that's a testament to the strength of our efforts and political awareness. And we also have 32 major investors. And major investors are any realtor that invests $1,000 or more. And that goes towards fighting the issues such as the uh, sales tax. Gotcha. Awesome. So was this, uh, what was it, what's the city hall? To the association? So we had that this morning. So we brought um, the Tucson city manager, mm -hmm. the Oral Valley town manager, Marana town manager, and the Pima County administrator. So they could give our membership an update on what's going on in our community. So it's just information, you know, such as what's going on with our roads, what's going on with bringing employers in, what's going on with housing. So it's just great information to share. Mm -hmm. And more changes in Tucson. There's a new mayor in town. Yeah, this is an election year, so we will have um, election for a new mayor in Tucson. Awesome. And on June 5th at the association, we're going to have a mayor's debate. So more information to come. Are on you going to run, Barbara? Come on. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you don't want anything else on your plate right now. <laughs> we'll leave that to Mr. Gibbs. Yeah. Oh, is he going to do it? No. No. <laughs> He'll be in here later. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, the local real estate market. So we have, you know, home pricing days on market. What are we looking at right now, Barbara? So right now our median sales price is 219000 So it's up. I mean, we're doing a, a steady up. We're not into this big bubble like people fear or anything like that. Just normal appreciation. We're 43 days on the market, average days on market. Of the three, we have 3,005 active listings, and of those, 567 are priced below 200,000. Oh, wow. So people were worrying that we didn't have enough inventory uh, in the lower range, and we have 567,000. Oh, wow. And I actually uh, just helped a veteran. Awesome man. He served our country, he had PTSD, wound up homeless lived under one of our bridges for quite a while and helped then build himself back up, bought his first home, $74,000. So there is properties out there oh, just wow. to look. So wow, that's, that a, just that's awesome. an awesome story. Mm -hmm. uh, to be able to have, help veterans and, and, and those that are in, in need, you know, mm -hmm. to actually uh, own a home. Right. Uh, that, is, that is awesome. Was there anything else... Uh, that consumers or realtors should should know about. Um, well, actually, we have. I guess they can visit for more information to TucsonRealtors.org. Right, and one thing to note too is Realtor.com stated that Tucson is number five in the fastest growing retirement havens. So we're going to see a lot more of that. Mm -hmm. A lot of construction going on, new home builds, Marana and Vale, big big areas there, but. For more information, just TucsonRealtors.org. Stay informed and get involved in your association. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Barbara, for sharing the updates and uh, this awesome information. If uh, anybody had an, any additional questions, how do people reach out? Uh, my number, my cell phone, 520-240-3560. Uh, my blog is TucsonAZRealEstateBlog.com. 
Awesome. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure having you on Real Estate Pros. Right. And we will see you guys on the next episode.